Hello guys, welcome back to another video. I'm just heading out to feed the cows. I'm at the pit, gonna grab the loader. Um, and then I think I'm gonna cut some lawn today. I just rolled out one of the bales for them. I find they don't waste as much if I roll it out versus if I just set it down. So, and then they can all eat at once too. Everything is so gross because it has been raining non-stop. So, yeah, it's gonna be muddy. All right, got her all filled up for the girls. Hi. Hi. Are you napping in the sun? Are you? You're a good boy. Alright, I'll show you guys what I got. Um, first up is this hair oil. My hairdresser was telling me about this. It's um a toning hair oil for like if you have blonde hair. So Hopefully that's good. I got the mini size because I'm going on a trip this summer. So I just needed a small travel size one. Plus, sometimes I do that if, you know, otherwise I have a huge bottle. And then what if I don't like it? So, And then I also got this. I got my hair bleached um, like two weeks ago now, I think. And it feels terrible as it always does after I bleach my hair. So... I decided to try out this product. It had really good reviews. This is the Bondi Boost Rapid Repair Serum. So hopefully that's good. And then I also got, this is by the brand Vivier. It's called Ulti Ultimage. I think that's how you say it. I follow, I, uh, what is she called? I can't think of what she's called, but like, She's, like, a skin person. Like, she does, like, Botox and all that stuff. Like, she works in a, like, a med spa. I don't know why I can't think of what she's called. Anyways, um, she calls this stuff Botox in a bottle. I've never gotten Botox, so I can't compare. But um, it does work pretty good. So, had to repurchase that. I haven't used this in, like, a year. So... I was like, eh, I should probably get that again. So yeah, that's all I got. And then these are just like some samples that Sephora actually sent for once. For a while there, like they were never sending samples. And the last few times they actually did. So that's good. Okay, so I have to leave pretty soon. You 
Ace are trying to play ball and he doesn't bring the ball back. Ace, bring the ball. Let's see if he brings this one. Come on, bring it. Nope, just lays down. I'm actually going away tonight. My sister, there's a baby shower on for my sister's baby. So I have to head over to my sister's house like right away here. Um, Cause yeah, we're gonna drive in together. So that's at 7.30 and usually the baby showers literally go for like, um, I bet just for sure two hours. So I'm gonna be home pretty late. Um, Jake is still working, so yeah. So my hair is like so crazy frizzy and looks really gross, but so what happens after I bleach my hair. It's just so damaged and it gets so frizzy and yeah, but I just have to keep like letting it air dry so it can get healthy again and I can get my curls back. But the like in between stage really sucks. So just gonna have ugly hair for the next probably like month, honestly. <laughs> I will say though, when I went to um, get my hair done, my hairdresser was actually saying that this was like the healthiest she's ever seen my hair and it was at like its longest. We did take off about two inches. I don't know, probably like an inch actually. Um, and yeah, my hair did look way better before I bleached it, but that was kind of nice to hear that she's been doing my hair for probably like almost 10 years. Um, and yeah, this was like the healthiest she's ever seen my hair. So that was kind of nice to hear because I've been like trying really hard to take care of it. So yeah, hopefully I can get it back to being healthy because it looks awful right now. Just heading to the farm right now. I have to do some fencing. So I'm going to grab the quad and load up all the fencing stuff. And then I'm actually going to grab Ace and we're going to go together out to the fields. I'm already off to a bad start. I went to grab the quad, but it was in the feedlot and I didn't have my rubber boots because I put them on the heater because I was down and left them outside all night. Anyways, I lost my shoes in the mud, so I had to go barefoot. So yeah, I gotta get cleaned up. Those need to be hosed off. Ace, I still have to go to the farm and get my wagon with the fencing stuff, okay? And then I'll, and then I'll come get you. I just need some boots, okay? Alright, so my dad and I just put a bunch of new posts in because some of them were broken. We put in 10 total. So now I'm just going around and putting staples in all of them. I got Ace with me. He's out there tomorrow. And then after that, after I'm done this, I'm going to go home and move the purebreds on the last year. my dad's purebred black angus cows so i'm just gonna open this gate here and then they can go out onto pasture out there getting 
I'm hoping I'll finally have a bloom this year. Um, this is my third year with them, and I heard on the third year that's when they get, like, really established. And, yeah, so I feel like this is the year. My rose bush is coming up. Um, those are lilies. My tulips. I don't know why, but this one didn't come up. And this one is, like, it's so windy. This one just, like, fell over. And then this is another rose bush. It is starting to get a little bit green there, so I'm hoping it'll come back. And then over here, um, this is a hosta, which I just got that this year because I don't think my hydrangeas are gonna come back, unfortunately. I don't see any green on them at all. So I don't have much hope for those. And then this is my bleeding hearts, which is, doing pretty good and I don't know what this bush is called um this was already here when we um moved into this rental house and I don't know what this is called but it flowers yellow so and that's starting to come back you can see it's greening up so yeah that's what's going on in my flower beds in case anyone was wondering hello guys I'm on my way to town right now I'm actually running a little bit late but it's just a nail appointment, so she usually doesn't care. Um, honestly, she's usually the one running late, so I should only be about five minutes late. Anyways, I just picked up my mail. I got a pair of Hey Dudes. I love these shoes. They are so comfortable. Um, and like, oh my goodness, did they go up in price? Like, I know everything has, but I bought a pair of these two years ago, and I think I paid around $60 for them. They are now $80. Yeah. Gotta love Canada. Anyways, like I said, I bought a pair of these two years ago. And I was stupid and wore them on the farm. They were like a light, like a whitish gray color. Anyways, I got super gross. So, I got a new pair. And these are black ones. So, I'm excited about these. They're so comfortable. So I wanted a pair before my trip this summer because with these, I can just take these as like my casual shoe and also I don't have to um, take runners when I take these because they, like I said, they're just so comfortable. Um, last year when we went, I brought my other pair, like my white ones or gray, I don't really know what color they are. Anyways, I brought my other pair and we did a hike. It wasn't really much of a hike, it was kind of like a walk hike. Anyways. And I just wore these and like they were honestly just as comfortable as wearing runners. So you gotta pack smart when you're going on trips because my bag is always overweight. Um, so yeah, gotta be smart with that. And these are also nice for the airport because um, I don't like to be like wear sandals because I don't wanna be barefoot so I wanna have socks. Um, but on the plane, I like to take my shoes off. I know some people think that's gross, but whatever. It's like a five hour flight, I wanna be comfortable. So anyways, you wanna have socks on, but you want a pair of shoe that just like easily can come off. So these are good for that too. Um, Cause yeah, like we are gonna be flying in summer, but I don't wanna be barefoot in an airport, that's gross. Usually when you go through security, they don't make you take your shoes off unless you're wearing like a boot, but still. All right, I'm done my nail appointment. I'm just at Canadian Tire now. I'll show you my nails. Um, we were just copying a picture I found off of Pinterest, but now that they're done, I kind of wish I wouldn't have done black for the center of those flowers. I feel like it just stands out. Why is this not? Come on. I feel like the black just like really stands out. What is going on with my stupid phone? Okay. Um, but otherwise I like them, so. Anyway. I'm just gonna head into Canadian Tire now. I just want to look at their garden center and just see what they have. I don't need um, like anything specific, but I do you want to do a flower pot for by my friend's step, I think. So I'm gonna see what they have here. I looked at Walmart the other week and most of their stuff was frozen because they just leave it out and it froze. Um, but 
Canadian Tire actually has a greenhouse, so their stuff should be better. Okay, I didn't get anything at Canadian Tire. I'm just at Walmart right now, so I'm going to head on in there. And I'm going to get my groceries. And I might just look at their um, garden center, too. And just see if there's anything that's good there. Um, Canadian Tire, a bunch of their stuff also. They obviously left it out and it froze because it was not looking good. So, yeah. 